Thankfulness by Viveka Tre Gratitude the ability to be grateful for what you have the quality of being thankful for what you have your parents your home your work your clothes your food all of us have something to be thankful for but we forget we take things for granted our families in the pandemic lots of people took lots of things for granted but they were rudely jolted awake awake and at that time people realized the value of certain people in the close family and certain things which we take for granted which we missed when we couldn't be allowed that i think it's very important for us to be grateful for the gifts of god every day fruit vegetables air water the the nature beauties birds trees everything it's very very important that we realize the gift of life itself and if we're thankful as a as a default value that means we are by default thankful and don't have to be convinced to be thankful then life becomes better when we are grateful for what we have we can hope to have more but if we are thankless on the other hand jealous of others why does he have more than me why does he have a better car always cribbing always complaining then that attitude is negative and then improving becomes more difficult life is about everybody can't be the same life is about living your own journey and being thankful for your journey and despite the ups and downs overall most people are healthy and fit and able to tackle life's problems life's problems may seem big at times and we forget to thank god or thank our destiny for what we have at that time we focus on the problem and we say oh this is really 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 unfair why is this happening to me and then we remember or at least i remember the arthur ashe story the wimbledon champion who fell ill later and he was asked why is this happening to you and why not to someone else and he said when i won wimbledon i didn't ask god why me why is it happening to me now when i am i'm not well i have no right to ask god why me when good things happen we should be grateful when good things don't happen we should be resilient we don't have to be forgetful of the fact that most of the time we are comfortable and happy and we are all right most of us yes if somebody has lost a limb or lost someone or lost his voice or whatever it is they it's very difficult to be grateful for life at that time because that impediment that injury that disability becomes so compellingly present in our lives yet people who are perfectly fine in many ways in all ways they are comfortable reasonably well off happy should be happy they crib there's no need to crib so let's be thankful grateful for what we have and let's take inspiration from those who are good natured and who are grateful and who for example a student touching the feet of his guru or teacher or coach and being grateful not taking that coach childhood coach for granted when you become a superstar same is the case with someone who's ridden very fast on the ladder of life or career a ceo who started out as a very junior official being thankful to the helpers the waiters the rickshaw wala the driver the cleaner animals plants nature god be thankful for what you have and life becomes more beautiful thank you have a great evening morning day whatever i Hello everyone I'm Vivek Atre XIS author and motivational speaker Kafi log aap mein se mujhe jante hain aur ab milte bhi rahe hain videos mein audios mein Instagram pe Facebook pe LinkedIn pe pata nahi kahan kahan podcasts mein bhi aur ye jo special podcast ab shuru kar rahe hain the Vivek Atre show this is going to be fun and you're going to enjoy it hopefully we'll also learn something through it and that's important to have fun and learn at the same time 
करेंगे क्या कुछ बातों का मतलब कुछ मतलब की बातें क्या मतलब <laughs>